We'd like to introduce you to the American Olympic hero who you have never heard of. Eileen Gu won gold in the freestyle skier competition. Ordinarily, this would not be news, except Gu, an American, won gold for Team China. Ask yourself, how is that possible? Well, she was born in the United States, educated in California, is an American citizen, but has a Chinese mother. And the communists came calling a few years ago with big bucks. An accomplished skier, they offered to turn Gu into a national celebrity. In fact, her win, quote, broke the internet in China. CNN Beijing reporter Jesse Yung dutifully followed the Polar Bureau's reporting standards. Aline Gu fans temporarily crashed China's leading social media platform on Tuesday as tens of millions rushed online to celebrate the teenage free ski sensation, winning her first gold medal of the Beijing Olympics. Congratulations. And the endorsement dollars are raining down at a rate even exceeding the fake snow blown for the 2022 games. More on the fake snow a little later in the show. Gu models for Louis Vuitton, Tiffany, and is sponsored by Anta Sports, among a number of other brands you see there. Anta is the Chinese equivalent of Nike. Let's be honest. Multi-million dollar deals and IMG modeling contracts are not typically available for even accomplished X game skiers in America. But in China, they are gold in more ways than one. Back to CNN's reporting. Known as the Snow Princess among her Chinese fans, Gu, already reigning world champion, has become the unofficial face of China's Olympic ambition and saw her popularity skyrocket in the lead up to the games. Here is how she explains it. Um, I definitely feel as though I am just as American as I am Chinese. I'm American when I'm in the US and I'm Chinese when I'm in China. That's convenient and might work if she wanted to compete for, say, Norway. When in America, I'm American. When in Norway, I'm Norwegian. Fine. But China? Really? A country perpetuating the greatest genocide since World War II? A country actively harassing and confronting the U.S. Navy on the high seas? A country aiding, adding hundreds of nuclear missiles to its air force? I could go on. The American military considers China and its goose-stepping army enemy number one. Gu chose money and fame over America. Fine. That's her choice. But there is one sticky situation. Remember, she was born in the U.S. and is an American citizen. The Chinese don't recognize dual citizenship. After all, dual citizenship makes it harder to imprison and torture people when they get out of line. If someone's only Chinese, there's no consular visits or angry foreign governments to deal with with a dual citizen. So to compete for China, she would need Chinese citizenship and have to give up her American citizenship. Great. Good riddance. Except that is likely not what happened. After Gu's gold, reporters repeatedly pressed her about the citizenship issue. Her response was an answer to a question, just not the question asked or even close to it. She evaded time and time and time again, talking about how she wants to bring people together through skiing. The evasion speaks volumes. Evidently, she's heading to Stanford this year for school, so let's review. Born in America to an American parent, chooses to cash in wearing the Chinese flag, competing for China against the United States, makes a ton of money, and then comes back to live in America as an American. Treason's a strong word. But when did it become okay to cavort with America's enemies? Remember Jane Fonda in her visit to Vietnam? It was shameful. Her nickname became Hanoi Jane. Is there any difference between Gu embracing the Chinese and their genocide? Sure. American troops aren't captive right now in China. But Fonda didn't make millions off her trip. Call it a draw. Perhaps we should nickname Elaine Gu Beijing Elaine. Is that fitting? In China, there is little difference between the People's Liberation Army and the Chinese Communist Party. And Gu, and guess who runs the Chinese Olympic team? Chinese Communist Party. They are all one big genocide committing, human rights abusing, happy family. How about the proof of that? Well, this is from China's official media source. Just days before the games, over 100 members of the team headed to Tiananmen Square. Here's the video. Symbolic for so many reasons. Here was what they were chanting. This is from The, the Hill, our sister publication. For the motherland, charge, charge, charge. Always fight for first place and never give up. And victory to China. 
Sources on the ground for the Hill say they also chanted, throw caution to the wind to repay the leader, Xi Jinping, and follow the general secretary, Xi Jinping, and move together to the future. There's no indication Gu attended the Tiananmen Square rally, but those are her teammates, her countrymen. They have to chant this stuff or risk death. Gu chose to compete for China to chase a pile of cash. Remember, once again, how she views the situation. Um, I definitely feel as though I am just as American as I am Chinese. I'm American when I'm in the U.S., and I'm Chinese when I'm in China. Part of being an American is American values. We're the good guys. We stand up to dictators. We stand up for the oppressed. That's what athletes at the Olympics compete for, Team USA. That means something. The flag you wear, the flag you compete for, means something. It stands for something. Let's be clear. Gu chose to wrap herself in the flag of a country currently committing the worst genocide since World War II for cold, hard cash. We will keep showing you this side-by-side -side picture every night of the Olympics because NBC will not. Minorities in China, head shaved and shackled, lined up and waiting for a train to a concentration camp. That's on the left. It's happening right now in China. On the right is Nazi Germany lining up Jews heading to the gas chamber. It's the same thing. Elaine Gu wants to enjoy the rights and privileges of being an American while choosing to take money from and wrap herself in the Chinese flag. She legitimizes and puts a nice, happy face on the country and leaders sending millions to concentration camps. And there is zero indication that she has given up her American citizenship. She won't comment on it. Her sponsors won't comment on it as well. The Wall Street Journal pushed Red Bull on the issue. They took down their previous statement about Gu giving up her citizenship. IMG won't talk about it to the journal as well. That's her modeling agency. Obviously, she won't talk about it. She evaded reporters' questions today. In your passport, American passport, it clearly states service in a foreign military can be grounds for revoking your American citizenship. That's on point tonight. We want to know what you think. What should happen to Elaine Gu? Her citizenship? her education at Stanford, and all of her endorsement money. Let us know on social media, at Leland Vittert. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We'll continue the conversation there. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.